Good evening, Samurai! Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ezio and I will be your guide this evening as we once more journey into the... Well, I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Welcome, welcome one and all to our continuing journey into the Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. For those of you who couldn't join us on the previous leg of our journey, we have completed all the Korok Seeds of Central Hyrule. Which is a blatant lie. We have actually we have completed all the seeds around Hyrule Field and the surrounding area of the castle. We ventured into Hyrule Castle. We have killed a bunch of guardians, fought a Lionel by accident, died to the Lionel on the Great Plateau several times in an attempt to get a Lionel Crusher, and discovered that the map doesn't work for Hyrule Castle, unfortunately. So, we are now going the slow approach of me switching between the interactive map and trying to work it all out as we continue to hunt for Korok seeds on multiple levels of a castle that we can't actually see because we are right. The map for Hyrule Castle is really stupid. So, there we go. So, we've got a lot of time, a lot of stuff to do ahead of us and not a lot of time. So, come join me as we once more step foot into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm of the Legend of Zelda, Wreck of the wild. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set, and as always the switch still needs to be turned on. So let's go! Shall we? Oh! Old Jamboree, welcome! Don't know if that cut out, but either way. Down switch. Wakey wakey. Or so! Jam! Yes, I am indeed Ezio. Hello! <laughs> You are Ezio. Fake news. Depends which Ezio, my dear. Depends which Ezio. Ezio. There we go. Depends which Ezio. I have a throat lozenge in my mouth. That's my excuse. Oop. I am your god. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Continue your fine work, my friend. Oh, well. Right. <clears throat> How are you doing? You seem to be in a good mood. I've had quite a bit of cider, so yes, I'm in a good mood. Nah, I'm alright. I've got a cold. So, apologies if I end up seeming a bit low energy this stream. But otherwise, yes, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. Right. Let's start by going into this room, healing this shield, which is a royal guard shield. I mean, that's a hell of a step up. This shield was forged using ancient Sheikah technology. It boosts, boasts extremely high stopping power, but its structural weakness makes its low durability impractical for combat. Uh. So basically we've got a prototype Royal Guard's shield. Okay. Alcohol. Indeed. Alcohol. Magnus Iris Cider. Oh, treasure chest. Fine. Ooh, gold rupee. Nice. The writings of King Roham Bosphomar Bosphoramus Hyrule. The day as the sun rose and a new day was born, my daughter too joined this sweet world. In keeping with the traditions of the royal family, I have decided to name her Zelda. I am not a man accustomed to frivolous musing, but now seems like a good as time as any to begin my royal memorandum. Reports keep arriving regarding the excavation of relics. The fortune teller's predictions seem to be coming true. Calamity Ganon was not the third, not a figure of fable or even of legend. He actually existed in our great land of Hyrule. We must investigate all the relics, learn as much as we can, but understanding the Divine Beasts alone will take time. Zelda's eyes lit up like a wildfire when I told her about the relics. I must admit, she has a knack for research. Hey, old hoodlum, welcome. My queen left this world. Her death was so sudden and unexpected. I awaken most nights unsure if she's really gone. Zelda never cried, never faltered, not even during the royal funeral or later when she and I were alone with our grief. 
I must assume her strength is a result of us repeatedly informing her of her duty to be vigilant and a steady princess. For a child of merely six years of age, her conduct was truly that of a born leader. Her strength gives me hope. From now on, I must raise her all alone. Now, only I remain to prepare her for the difficult future as Princess of Hyrule. Zelda finally reported back after her visit to the fountain. It seems her secret sealing power is still yet to awaken. It has been a year and three months since her mother passed. Perhaps she is held back by heartache too deep to heal. If the Ganon prophecy wasn't looming over our heads, I would tell her to take her time, to wait until she is ready. But our situation is dire and leaves no room for weakness even on behalf of my beloved daughter. My heart breaks for Zelda, but I must act as a king, not as a father. I must order her to train relentlessly at the fountain. I was told Zelda went off to research ancient technology, so I have no choice but to confront her about it. She claims she was simply using her day off from training to indulge in a bit of research. But still, I scolded her. She won't get it through her head. Forcing me to tell her the same thing I've been repeating ad nauseum. The reason her sacred powers still won't awaken is because she's spending all her efforts playing at being a scholar. In truth... I understand Zelda's feelings. Painfully so. She lost her mother, her teacher, before she could learn from her. Ten pointless years of self-training, without so much as a book or note to help her find her way. Those in the castle talk behind her back, and I, her only family, scold her for her shortcomings. No wonder she wishes to hide away in her beloved relic research. I'd love nothing more than to console her. But I must stay strong. She must fulfill her, her duty. Just as we all must. Even if she comes to despise me. I have been told my Zelda went to the Spring of Wisdom. This will likely be her last chance. If she is unable to awaken her power at Lineru, all hope is truly lost. If she comes back without success, then I shall speak kindly with her. Hello, what? <laughs> if she comes back without success, then I shall speak kindly with her. Holding is pointless now. I forced ten years of training on her. After all that, it seems her power will stubbornly awaken some other way. Perhaps... I should encourage her to keep researching her beloved relics. They may just lead her to answers that I can't provide. For now, I sit anxiously, more a father than a king in this moment. I sit and I await my daughter's return. And for those of you who are interest as interested in lore as I am, after that, Calamity Ganon returned castle fell. The king and his trusted knights paid retreat from the, loss, from the loss of Hyrule Castle to the Temple of Time upon the Great Plateau where they made their final stand. Stand that led to the death of the king of Hyrule, to which his trusted knights buried him upon the top of Mount Hylia. A grave that you can visit in the game, denoted by a series of rocks Bearing out over Hyrule towards the castle. Here you go. Bit of Zelda lore for ya. Right. I'd attempted to put close that. I'm gonna close that back up. In honor of the king. Right. It was a bit of a douche in the cutscenes, but I think his heart was in the right place. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. Awesome. Right, let's see if we can find 
missing guard thing. Hello. Right, cool. That kind of works. Where are we? Um. Uh, right, if we go back that way, we could potentially... Hmm. I wonder... Let's go back the other way. I want to see if we can get into the guards' chambers where we can get one of the DLC things. I mean, we don't have to worry about pissing off the Lizophos as they currently think we're their god. He, he jumps and worship at me, walking past. Empty's blocking that way, and I can't see any eye. Ezio, you mad going in Hyrule Castle? Um, hail Nintendo. No, it's fine. The waifu channel needs to be re renamed and incorporate incorporate Ezio's name in there. For those of you confused, that's an inside joke. Um, get up. Oh, right, I'll go that way. Oh, right, well, if that's, if that's the general consensus. Good. <clears throat> Nintendo says I must give up on the waifu. Nintendo has spoken. Yeah, we all know that's not going to happen. Um... <laughs> Said you have taste. I know, I know. I'm just messing, Nintendo. Don't worry about it. Right, let's go this way. Woo! A great frost blade. Yoink. Let's see if we can find our way to the guard chamber. Oh, who's ripped up all the paintings? He's blasted Lizophos. No appreciation for art. Also, for the comment of I'm mad going into Hyrule Castle, I have Majora's Mask. They all think that I am their god, for I am. And therefore, we shall avoid all confrontation, unless I draw my weapon because I'm an idiot. That's a shiny sword. Black, 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 black. Ooh, that's fine. Uh, can I carry any? Oh, right. Well, we'll get rid of. Get rid of that. Take that. That's a busted sword. Um. that to take that. Perfect. Rusty, rusty, rusty. Ooh, hold on. Uh, no, the game. There we go. Can't carry any more weapons. Um, That's fine. We will drop a weapon. Ah, uh, crud. Um, yeah, minor, minor, minor. Got that one. The Royal Guard bow. Cool. <clears throat> right. So, with that done. Oh, wait. Um, there's no chest hiding in there, is there? No, it doesn't look like it, never mind. This looks like it could be a guard barracks, so... Hello. Oh, the stairs are destroyed, that's why. Okay. Um... We can solve this problem with the power of climbing. Go! 
Oh, spider link. They block that up. Dusty play more anyway, but still. Weird thing to do in the castle. Maybe it was a tomb and I've just basically smashed my way into it. How did you even get in here? You... I... What the... Okay, and um, hail, Skeller Puppy. Welcome. <laughs> also, cheers. BRB. Okay. In a bit of hoodlum. Boom. Hello. <laughs> right, we need to drop another weapon. Um. Drop one of the great flame blades. I love that. Sword and a pedestal. Looks just like the Master Sword as well. Royal Guard Sword. A Sheikah made replica of the sword that seals the darkness. It was made with ancient technology to oppose the Great Calamity, but its low durability made it inefficient. 69. Wow. Uh, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to open the chest. There we go. A dignified uniform of Hyrule's Royal Guard. It's made of lightweight materials and is both stylish and practical. It's rather a rare find. And probably Link's original uniform. When you stop to consider that Link was a royal guard. <laughs> Before he, you know, started wearing the champion's tunic. Hanging on a treasure chest. I have got all the walls, right? You are what you were. After all, indeed. Wait, by that logic, then I should be some sort of bug in Yakuza. Or, most times, a Victorian gentleman. Uh, where are we going? Be what you want, Ezio. I shall be Kazuma Kiryu. Okay. How is this stuff not rotten? I mean, other than the fact it just sat here, you'd think it would have started to break down over time. I assume that these are all raiding parties. To which I thank you, my fine noble moblins. As your god, that I freely accept this humble offering. A whole road. Okay, cool. I assume I get that if I kill a couple. Somehow. Pretty sure they're indestructible. But, no. Or maybe if I shoot a duck. Oh, yeah, there's supposed to be something in here, isn't there? Think. Dining hall, possibly. Um. Ooh, they have fancy couches. There is also a weapon in that crate. I'm guessing it's going to be a royal halibut. Not halibut, that's a type of fish. Um, halibut. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 
Um, yep. I think moblins have some really fancy weapons. Wait, there's something in here, isn't there? Um, I didn't know the dining hall, in the guard chamber, and on the second floor. Battleground where brave souls test their skill at ceremonial grounds where the royal guards are honoured. At the ruins where the soldiers of Hyrule gathered. I need to find that one at some point. From the ground up. Uh, no, don't need that. Weapon connoisseur. Missing in action. Four friends. Good sized horse. Okay, right. So, royal guard rooms. Dining hall guards chamber second floor. Right, we found that one. And the dining hall that keeps springing to mind is literally this place. But that's near somewhere else. Cool. Right, okay. Let's go this way. No. Hmm. No, maybe not. Hello, what's that? Oh, it's a chest. No. The moblins are stuck on the door. Really? Okay, cool. Have fun. Um. What if I go this way? I don't think I came in this way. I see that cobweb, and I keep thinking there's a secret passage. Oh, it's literally just the same door on the same. Okay, cool. Where are we in the map? Uh, I need to basically go back the way I came and then down? No, wait, no, where's the front entrance? No, I'm heading in the right direction. Good. Walking around Hyrule Castle like this. Why couldn't we have... Oh, actually, oh, I tell a lie. We had that in um, Breath of the Wild. Uh, not Breath of the Wild. I'm playing Breath of the Wild. Twilight Princess, you could run around Hyrule Castle. But we need more... And, and uh, well, it wasn't 3D, but... No, it's just... I find this brilliant oh and wind waker okay we've been in hyrule castle a bunch of times but this feels like more it's more intricate i wouldn't have minded seeing this all in its heyday uh right i need to get past this moblin without upsetting him and shoot observation room cool shoot that in the face that's a thunder blade that's cool just can't access it oh hello and that leads us to the balcony, where we can get stand and wave at the people of Hyrule. Awesome. Oh, he's still following me. Hello, yes, I'm, I am your god. Goodbye. Um... Hmm. Ah, Bob. That's the door we need to go from. Okay, new plan. We go out of the castle, jump off the balcony, and glide our way down. Just notice, moblins like Zora have really short legs and really long torsos. Right, we need that entrance there. Ah. Oh. Well, we're trapped now. Fantastic. Let's go through here. I hear a gluey, gluey, gluey noise. So, no, there's no eyeball to shoot. That's annoying. Yes, hello. Right, and then down here should, sure, in theory, lead us to the lockup. Not the lockup, the um guard chamber. Ah, there we go. Oh, golden lizophosis. Oh, fantastic. Oh, just what I wanted to see. Thank you, game. Hello. That's a treasure chest. A shard of nature's fine. Oh, I found a part of the dragon underneath the stairs. Yes, that, that makes perfect sense. So, thank you, game. Um, I'm so glad we got Majora's Mask before we came in here. Ooh, hello, what do we have? A uh, rusty shield, a royal claymore, and... Not very much, to be honest. 
Ah, oh, it's the fire system. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, it's literally just a piece of metal. But why is it here? Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to hit any of them. Oh, wait, there's the bloody chest. <laughs> chest is right there in front of me. Okay, cool. Um, there we go. These royal, these boots were part of the uniform of the Hyrule Hillian Royal Hyrule's Royal Guard. They are a fine blend of style and function. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, right. Okay, up we go. Right, they can't follow me, they can't jump. Um, well, they can. Well, the Liz officers can, I suppose. But most of them can. Hello, that looks like a fancy bow. 100 rupees. Bomb arrows. Falcon bow. Oh, never mind. A highly refined Rito made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Rito Warriors favour it for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel further at combat. Oh, right, um... I don't know which one of these I'm going to drop. Let's get rid of that one. Falcon bow. Alright, I'm guessing there's a separate way out of here. I know. This map is awful. Right. I think if I go up, then there's a side way I can go through to get out. There we go. And that is how... We Uh, that barrel of explosive is probably going to be good enough. Here we go, problem solved. Now I'm pretty sure that's going to reset on the next Blood Moon, but whatever. Cool. Right, so the last one is on the second floor. Uh huh. No, we got there by going outside first, didn't we? So if we switch to the rock climbing gear and climb up, we might be able to get to the second floor of the castle. Oh, right. Second floor was where the dining room was. And that's the guardhouse, isn't it? Pretty much the guardhouse. Okay, right. On the second floor doesn't really narrow down where I need to go, game. The castle. It's got many different levels and at least several second floors. Well, that's a staircase. We'll try that. Oh, hold on. Okay, right. Another plan. Nope. Is that a decay? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. 
Hello! This is just your just your guard wandering through. Hello, goodbye. I'm just stealing these arrows. Farewell. Um Don't kill me. Oh, this is Zelda's room. Cool. Wardrobe. Completely destroyed bed. Yeah, no, that's that's, that's about it. I'm sure she'll be glad to know a moblin has taken over her room. Um up here? No. Oh, hello. <laughs> Read Zelda's diary. What could possibly go wrong? It's not like she's watching us or anything. After meeting with the champions, I left to research the ancient technology, but nothing of note came of my research. The return of Ganon looms, a dark force taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we can stop him. If the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed, there isn't much time left. But turning over these thoughts in my head puts me ill at ease. I suppose I should turn in for the night. Yes, tomorrow my father is assigning him as my personal appointed knight. I set out for Goron City today to make some adjustments to the Divine Beast Varudania. I still recall feeling his eyes on me as I walked ahead. The feeling stayed with me as... For me so long, I grew anxious and weary. It is the same feeling I felt before in his company, and still not a word passes his lips. I never know what he's thinking. It makes my imagination run wild, guessing at what he is thinking but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Then, I suppose it's simple. A daughter of Hyrule's royal family, yet unable to use sealing magic. He must despise me. I said something awful to him today. My research was going nowhere. I was feeling depressed, and I had to, and I had told him repeatedly not to accompany me. But he did anyway, as he always does. And so I yelled at him without restraint. He seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty. And that guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before. Link actually can't speak confirmed. Ah, proven wrong in a different cutscene. I'm unsure how to put today's events into words. Words so often evade me lately, and now more than ever. He saved me, without thought for his life. He protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiga clan. I thought I'd been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn. Still... He was there for me. I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow I shall apologise for all that has transpired between us. And then, I will try talking to him. Link. It's worth a shot. Bit by bit, I've got Link to open up to, up to me. It turns out he's quite a glutton. He can't resist a delicious meal. When I finally got around to asking why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say. But he did. With so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong and silently bear any burden. A feeling I know all too well. For him, it has caused him to stop outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I actually, I always believed him to sim I always believed him to be simply a gifted person who has never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. Everyone has struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems, I failed to see his. I wish to talk to him more and see what lies beneath those calm waters, to hear him speak freely and openly. And perhaps I, too, will be able to bear my soul to him and share the demons that have plagued me all these years. Father scolded me again today. He told me I am to have nothing more to do with researching ancient technology. He insists that I, f and I focus instead on training that will uh, on training that will help me awaken my sealing magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed I could not even speak. I've been training since a child, and yet, mother passed a year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost just not just a mother, but a teacher. Mother used to smile and tell me, "Seldom, my love, all will be well in the end." 
you can do anything. But she was wrong. No matter how I try or how much time passes, the sealing power that is my birthright evades me. Tomorrow I journey with Link to the spring of power to train, but this too will end in failure. Such is my curse. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, haloed by, by blinding light. I sense she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a goddess, but she was beautiful. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my powers were awoken? Or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I am sure I will know the answer soon, whether I wish to or not. I turned 17 today. This means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for Mount Lanayru. The other champions will accompany us there. I have not seen my father since he last scolded me. Things are too strained now. I will meet him with him when I return. Oh, blimey. So she didn't even see her father for whoever know who knows how long before the calamity. Actually, I have a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would believe a failure of a princess, but right now, for no particular reason, I am filled with a strange and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. And it did. Yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Uh, we climb up this way. Oh, please tell me that's not a blood moon. Hello. Get up there. Um, hmm. He hasn't seen her father because he prefers to hide out in caves. Um, oh, sorry, I gave you the Zelda voice there. He prefers, he prefers to hide out in caves. No. Oh, you weren't here when I gave a recounting of the history of Hyrule. Or at least the history of the Calamity. No, um... For those that missed it, no, um, the last days of the kingdom. So basically, we, you know how it goes. Zelda goes to Lanayru with the champions, and then in the cutscene, she comes down from the mountain, unable to open her powers, and then, oh, and then the calamity returns, and then it leads to the whole thing that place. When the castle fell, the king and his trusted knights. All basically scarpered to the great. Well, the castle fell, and the king of the great and his knights treated to the great Pla to the temple of time on the great plateau. There we go, Princess Elder's study. Well, we're safe. Um, retreated to the great plateau. There, the they were overwhelmed by the guardians, and the king fell. Somehow, his knights fought the mar fought off the guardians and took his body to the top of Mount Le Mount Hylia on the great plateau, where they buried him. And you can see his grave, it's the pile of rocks, you even talk to him over next to his grave while he's still pretending to be the old man. And since then, his spirit has haunted the Great Plateau. So, there we go. And then when Link returns, obviously he disguises himself as the old man to not overwhelm Link while his memory was still fresh. So, or at least when he had just awoken. 